Hi, in this video I'm going to cover end of year procedures for STP Creator. In a previous video we covered setting up a data set file and lodging your first STP report. And since then we've lodged several additional reports including the last one for our final pay in the year which was on the 28th of June. It's now the 2nd of July and we need to send a final indicator, we need to finalise the STP data. Now much of what I'm going to cover is covered in a help topic so I'll just click on the online help that brings up the help for the main screen if you scroll down for example you can see all the different things that need to be done before this last button is enabled but the purpose of today's exercise is to show you the end of year procedure article. There's an article on finalising all your pay year to date details and starting a new payroll year so we're going to essentially cover a lot of that. In terms of preparation for end of year there's no one size fits all, every business is different, every payroll is different. We recommend you do what you normally have done in payroll in the past when preparing payment summaries. Run all the same checks and balances, do the reconciliations, check that your final pays have been processed, check that the activity statements you've sent to the ATO uh, match what you've got, etc. Some people will generate their payment summaries in MyOB and some will provide them to their employees, not required to, um, but you can. And preparing those payment summaries gives you a useful reference for your first STP report. So I'll switch back to STP Creator. Now the first thing I will say, it's very important, if you're in July 2019 to ensure you're using the latest version. Now in this case when you look under help about the version number must be zero sorry must be 1024. The reason for that is previous versions treated update events differently and you should be using this if you're reporting after 1 July 19. So make sure you download and install 1024. Now the first thing to do is to open our permanent data set, so I'll click browse, that's it there, log in, and we can close this screen. Now click assemble year to date data, okay now this message is telling us that there's one or more payees who are set to know so we're not including them in the STP report and the reason for that is we have finalized two employees during the year we've sent a final indicator they've been terminated we've sent a final indicator and we don't want to include them so you'll have to ignore this message until the next payroll year so when you open up the next screen you can do a sort by this column and you can see that there's Kim and Amy and they're the two that were terminated and finalized during the year so we don't want to include them in this STP report so we can ignore that warning and we click save now we go here now on this screen the first thing we do is we tick update event during the year when you are reporting a pay it's called a pay event and you set these dates for the particular week or fortnight you're reporting however you can send an update event when you want to correct something or when you want to send a final indicator. So it's the end of the year, we want to send a final indicator, so we tick update event. Now because we're reporting for the payroll year, I'm going to change this from date to 1 July 7 to 18 and 30 June. And this should be today's date, which it is. And we click OK, and that skips the whole assemble W1, W2 screen. Now we click assemble lodgement data and that gives up the final figures and we need to check that these figures match what MyOB uh, would show on the payment summaries. And what we've got here we've got gross, we've got tax, super and across here we've got car allowance. And so what I want to do is switch over to MyOB and generate the register report, that's the report you should check against, I'll check these figures against. 
So I'm just going to pause the video while I launch Myob and configure it to fit this screen. Okay, I've got Myob open, and what we need is go to Reports, Next to Reports, Payroll, and Register Summary, and we select Year to Date. The reason we do this, use this report and not the Activity Report is because the Activity Report uh, can be different. The Register Summary is what Myob uses for payment summaries and so it's appropriate we check against the Myob payment summaries and if you generated the payment summaries in Myob these are the figures you'd get. So I'm just going to try and move some of these things across to make sure we can see those figures. Now switch to STP Creator and the first thing you'll notice is um, the total there does not tie in with the total there. So we need to make sure we understand the reason for that. We need to check the, the taxes and the super which is that figure there and make sure that ties in with what we're reporting to the ATO. So the first thing to understand is when we scroll across here and see the employee gross, this total here is the total of this column only. So if you've got other columns such as allowances, termination payments, they won't be included in that. We need to add that in there. Now the other difference is this Myob register shows 10 employees and we're showing reporting only on 8 because of the 2 we've already reported so that's an immediate reason for a difference and what we need to do in this case is add up the car allowance to this amount and compare that with the 153 less Amy's and Kim's and if you do your sums, as I have, you'll find that the figures that plus the allowance totals equals that less Kim and Amy. And the same thing for the taxes. You look at the 20,600 there. If you deduct Kim's 800 and Amy's 394, you'll, you'll get the same figure as this. And likewise with the super, there's 12,579. And when you look at the super there and you deduct Amy's 182 and Kim's 186 or 196, 186, you get exactly that figure. So that's what everybody should do in reconciling the figures that are here on this STP report to sh confirm that they match what would be on Myob's payment summaries excluding those who we've already reported on and finalized during the year such as Amy and Brooke I'm um, sorry Amy and Peter I think it was so once you've satisfied that they're the correct figures you need to set a, a final indicator now I'll scroll across here and just before the employee gross is a final end of year pay indicator we need to set that to true we've done that for the two that we've terminated during the year and we need to do that for all these so we click all and they're all highlighted and then we click final indicator and if you scroll back there you'll see that's all set to true that's essentially what we need to do that's the same as lodging your empty file with the ATO so I'm going to click lodge and I declare sign in Again. Okay, now as when you see this, you always click retry and it's got successfully signed in. And now we like, click send and we get success. Your pay event has been submitted to the ATO. Uh, if you want, you can keep a copy of this or close that. We've now we're now done. What I recommend doing is save the image file because it is our very last report just save that just if we need to review something later on we can see what we've what we reported and when we close that we can see this is now showing four completed this is also a feature on the most recent uh, version so that's what we need to do uh, we've now lodged our STP report we've lodged our update we've finalized things in Myob and we've finalized the STP 
process and, and so now, now what we need to do is some tidying up. Before rolling a payroll year forward you always make a backup just in case you need to reproduce the payment summaries or make an adjustment in the payroll for whatever reason always make a backup and always give it a good description such as final payment summaries 2019 and the, the company name so company name that way when you look at your backups you're not looking at something like this and trying to say oh what was that backup for you know exactly that this is the backup if you need to do something payroll related later on so that's a good practice then you go file start a new payroll year and complete that process I'll do that now and we change it from 2019 to 2020 okay so that's all we need to do in Myob now just as we do that in Myob we need to do well we recommend you do a similar thing in uh, STP Creator now what I mean by that is there's our data set file you can go to that location and make a copy of it and call it something like final 2019 should you ever need to come back and fix something up you can keep using that data set file for 2020 but it's good to have a copy of the 2019 as it was now so you can either go there and make a, a copy or you can just click the save as and so what I'm going to do is call this um, vanilla data set file final 2019 and save that and it's, if you make any changes here it'll update that I don't want to do that so the first thing I'm doing is going to get out of here so close this program so that is it for finalizing your STP report for 2020 just going to come back to this um, online help when look at starting a new payroll year this covers for example if you set reportable employer super amounts or RFBT amounts on the employee card or you set lump sum payments for some you need to undo that change that and when you first start your new report in the new year the first time you load data from my you'll see this message saying payroll year does not match and that's because in my the payroll year is now 2020 in the data set it's still 2019 if you see this simply click yes and that will update your permanent data set for the new year so we'll just quickly co cover that so just switch over or start STP creator and open that data set and just show you exactly what's involved just bring this to be create a screen across we select that same data set file because we'll keep we'll leave that one and we'll select this and once we open it we go to you can see the payroll years 2019 here so when you close here when you go to report your first pay now I haven't processed the payroll in my yet but when you go to first first report your pay you read the data you'll see this message payroll in my is 2020 however the payroll in the data set file is 2019 if you've completed your report etc rolled your year forward before proceeding the payroll year this permanent data set will be updated so essentially click yes and as you can see up the top here now there's nothing to display because the payroll years the year to date figures have all been cleared in my but you can see the payroll is 2020 and so you're good you're basically ready now to start reporting for 2020 each week and at the end of the year again you follow this end of year procedure to send a final indicator and roll the year again etc that's it for this video any questions have a look click on help from any screen and it'll bring the online help and and cover most of what's there otherwise send us an email thanks